Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. How in the world? Oh, welcome back, folks. How y'all doing? It's your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, we're on the uh, Farming Simulator 19 Spectral Island. Um, I'm just admiring how clean Dan and Christy got these tractors. Told them to wash them up and they can go home. And, and, and goodness, Christy, I can't even find a drop of dirt nowhere. I'll come back here on the baler. They didn't have time to get to the baler. You can see the dirt on the side of it. Ugh. And the wrapper. <laughs> yeah. Gotta wash these two up. But there ain't no hurry to wash these right now. Uh, as you can see here, you notice the red wrap. That's yeah, the color we went with. I'm gonna show you down here. That's what they look like. They're not pink, they're red. Um, I think last left off, I was going to mow this and I was telling y'all about it. I mowed uh, the cow pasture and got four bales. Uh, two in which is right here. I uh, don't know where those two come from. I really don't know. But I know those two came off of the cow pasture. And I kept two grass bales. But I also got some grass bales from field seven. But as you can see, that ends... 13,002, that shouldn't have been that high. I made 8,000 liter bales, and you can see these three, these three here are the same, and that one's just a little bit different. This one, this one here should have been one that was, um, oh, I can't even think what field it was off of. But anyway, as you can see, I'm hoping these ain't deteriorating in the shed. They're not supposed to. All these are still the same. They're all 4,000 liters, so they should. But grass do disappear faster than the rest of the bales. So, uh, but I saved these for the sheep, and this is for the cows. We might have to cut those bales, make it loose, and put it in here. We see them dropping down to six. But anyway, this episode isn't going to be about nighttime. I wanted to show y'all how clean these tractors are. We've been doing some uh, contracts. Let's go in here. As you can see, still no loan. But I did ask the bank we can go up to $865,000 with what we got now, that's how much we can borrow. I think last time was six thousand something, I think. But even with the five hundred and fifty dollars we got now, we still don't have enough to get that one point seven million out land that's out there. But, but uh yep, I was gonna go in here. Um got everything done except for a few eight sewing. Uh I think we're gonna be too busy to do that. We might do it, I don't know, but let's do these uh Two transport companies, fourteen thousand, and this one here is seven thousand. Well, I might well say eight. Then we done the fertilizer, two fertilizing contracts, and then we done three of the cultivating contracts. And I'm gonna hold on to him. Let's see. We got a, ooh, seventeen thousand. We're doing that. We're doing that before midnight. Um, yeah, I will bring y'all back here at midnight with the, uh, midnight prices and stuff. I don't know if we sold any, uh, uh, sellage today or not. I don't think we did. So anyway, I'll bring y'all back here in a second. All right. I did take the, uh, mower off and switch the weight around on the 285 here. And I was looking for some wheels that would have fit. Didn't see none. So we're just going to go in here and repair this thing for $268. And 
it's back in tip top condition. Let's go ahead and see if the weight needs anything. Yeah, eleven dollars. Must have been some nuts loose or something. Oh wait, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the tractor. All right, I wanted to bring y'all back because I forgot to sell the baler and these two trailers. So I know it's. Oh, there goes Dan with the other transport uh, contract. Get in here and sell these wagons real quick. Um, let's go ahead and repair it. Mm. 10,352, and we're going to sell. And then the next one is $4 for 10,340. Sell it. Hope that bailers. Oh, yeah. We're gonna repair it. 101000 and 193 dollars folks. That's what we was talking about right there. That's what we need. That's bringing us up to 709. Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. $709,000. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and complete this one because it's done. And we just gotta wait for Dan. Oh! Got another one. Windmill to bakery. Let's go ahead and take it. I, that's what I like. The transport missions gives you quite a bit of money, folks. But uh, I'm going to do a couple more of these and I'll bring y'all back at midnight and then I'll bring you back in the morning with some of the stuff that we're going to order. Actually, let's go ahead and order it because it. Go in here real quick. As you can see here. Potato harvest should be tomorrow or the next day. Then our soybeans and corn. So let's go in here and go. Oh, right here. And we're going to go all the way over. And then this is a planter we use. But we're going to be using these two pieces right here. Uh, this harvester digs the potatoes out of the ground and puts them in a like a windrow type. And it's got the American flag on it, which that, as you can see right there, left discharge, right discharge. It lets you know which side it discharges the potatoes on. Or, oh, I thought it went out in the middle, but it don't. Okay. Um, I'm always, our controls are on the right, and I'm, I'm right-handed, so let's put it on the right. Uh, working speed. I think we're going up at to 6. 6.3. That'll work. Uh, we also, the American flag, we can put uh, Canada. Um, I'm not even going to. Is it Spudnik? Spudnik? I don't know, folks. I have no idea. Um, we're going to buy it. It's 9,200. That way we'll have a resale value. Uh, yeah, that's on order. Now the next thing we need is a way to get them up. So conveyor belts are an alternate way to load your trailers. This belt will make material from the ground and load it in the next convoy belt. On to the next convoy belt. Don't think it's going to be another belt. Oh, wait. Alright, this is... um. Don't give no meters how wide. This one here is six meters wide. This thing, when it falls, it's this thing digs them out of the ground too, where it looks. Or does it just dig the one that picks up the ones? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, folks. Um. Go ahead and do the flag on that in two. And let's do our work speed to 6.3 to match the other one. I hope I have double. Well, only one way to find that. 25,200. So we're going to go ahead and buy it. For, so we can sell it back when we get done. If we want to. Holds 5,000 liters. Hmm. This one holds 2,000 liters. Okay. Um, said all this, we need a way uh, to mold the top. So um, 
before potatoes can be harvested, the forage needs to be cut and with a alum topper, or I can't pronounce that right. Um, yeah, it'd be this thing here at nine miles per hour. Let's make it. Let's go ten six. I always like going up this a little bit. All right, uh, twenty three thousand going over account down to six forty eight. Next thing we need, yeah, I know, folks, it's, we, we need a lot of stuff to do to potatoes. Um, we need a trailer to put in. So I got searching through the iPad here, and the best thing I found was way over here. Oh, I passed it. This guy right here, uh, 44,000, that holds 69,800 liters. And as you can see right here, potatoes and sugar beets, and everything else. I am going to change the main color to this uh, metallic black. And that's what it looks like. If you look real close at the bottom there, it's got like little mud flaps on like a, maybe a conveyor. Because it is a conveyor. And it dumps them out the back here, right in the center. So this is what we need to go under our shed. So it's what? We're buying it. Oh, just barely, barely. You know what? Man, we still ain't got enough to get this ground. I don't know why I want that ground so bad. But anyway, I'm going to do a couple more missions or contracts. Oh, I keep calling them missions. Hey, everybody left me. I'm going to do some contracts and I'll be back at midnight, folks. Okay, this is going to be the last transport I do tonight. I'm getting sleepy. Um... Dan and Christy done went home for the night, but I want to show you. Uh, let me make sure this, yeah, this last one. Okay. We're going to complete this one and this one. And we got two sewing. I ain't going to worry about them. At least not tonight, anyway. Uh, brings us up to 648,000. We're almost back up that 700. Um, I forgot about some equipment, so... Uh, I'm going to get this, uh, mm -hmm. get somebody to drive this home for me while I'm on my tablet. Let's go in here to Slurry Tankers. We're going to go over to, um, I don't really have very much for modded slurries. And I don't know if I got the manure, manure system activated, so I'm not going to worry about the hoses. Um, this guy here is pretty neat. Uh, if you go down here to design, you got the hose mod. You can hang a hose on each side. Now, I like this, but it, it's only 15,911. Ooh, 911. So I'm going to go, we're need, probably going to need this, and we're going to need a tanker to supply it. So um, I'm looking at maybe this, because it holds 90,000 liters. This, this, which I know I'm going to get this, so I might well just go ahead and buy it. Let's go. I got looking, you got no keying, and you got the wide tires. We need the wide tires. Working speed 10 is standard. Let's go. Let's go 12.5. We're going we're gonna to buy that. We're going to need it. Because this is how we're going to start fertilizing our fields. At least one part of it. We got uh, liquid digest state. And we got slurry, kind of. Uh, the pigs are going to start producing that for us. Um, let's see. Does this thing have a... Now, see, we have to hook up a system to that. So we're going to use this here. What did I set the oven to? Let's go. I think it was 12.5. All right, yeah, this is a hose drop system. And it's 36 meters. Oh, wow. I did not know it was that big. We're going to buy it. Might as well. We got the money, right? Ooh, down to 410. And my phone goes off. 
That must be uh, my bank account getting low. What was this? Um, let's see. This one says uh, TD12 SD700 and then oh, SBH436. This is the SD700 right here. And TD12 and there's the TD12. It is 12 meters. Probably should have got that. Oh, wait. No, that's a... It injects it. I wonder if it cultivates. Because I don't want it to cultivate. Because that's a... Uh, hmm. Oh. Oh, we got damn... Oh, I forgot. We we need a... Uh, this is 30,000. We might have to see... If uh, Alien Jim's got a slurry tanker or not. Well, it would be in here if we had it. This uh, spreads is 25. Uh, this holds 90. I think we're going to go ahead and get this. We can't transport liquid manure in this because it would be too heavy for the axles. This is meant to be taken out to the field. Um, Will Brano. Let's go with the wider one. We'll set up. It's not very wider, it's just bigger. Let's go with that. Warning lights. Um, warning stickers. Warning lights. Outline mark markings. Okay. Um, Alright, that should be everything there. Uh, why not, right? Why not? That's what I say. Why not? Okay. Um, we're going to see what our tanker holds. Um, I know it's set up for propane, but we might have to buy another one. Where is our tanker? Oh, pass it. Uh, it does. Okay, so we're going to have to buy another one of these. Okay. Um, but I'm home now. Ooh, $270,000 new vehicles. Yeah, we're down to 377. We're gonna get one more tanker, and that's gonna be it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let me, let me think about the tanker. We might lease it. Might just lease it, folks. Uh, this video's um, yeah, gonna be long. All right, I'm going to bed. Do we have any contracts? Nope. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go in here and I go to bed and y'all going to see the nighttime prices. Oh, by the way, welcome to my house. Y'all seen it yet? It's still the same. It's still the same, folks. Still the same. I haven't done nothing to it. I haven't been home to do anything to it. One thing about farmers. <sighs> Even computers still in the same spot where. All right. Um, first I need to fast forward time just a little bit, um, about right there, let's see, so six, I'm going to go with six hours and see where that puts me. All right, y'all have a good night and I'll see y'all in the morning. 3,611 vehicle leasing, 67 vehicle running costs, 196 property maintenance, 6,160 property income, folks. All right, let's see where this brings us. All right, our cow's going to need some TMR. Um, propane's still good at the gold place. Uh, chicken's going to need some food. Sheep's look like they're doing all right. Um, pigs, doing good. Um, as you can see, we're fixing to have four babies. We should have anyways here real soon see what we're looking like on the weather weather's looking kind of good um yeah all that's looking good let's go to our other currently no contracts okay cool um our stuff is still growing uh three four five and part of six here and let me take it over so y'all can see what's in it. It's corn, potatoes, potatoes, soybeans, soybeans. 
And you can see right here, there's two potatoes and a sugar beet. So, having to said that, um, I did do something to our case 400 um, supposed to be road crop tires and they are got the extended hub on it supposed to be better for potatoes they said but I did get them down here to the shop I'm gonna see if the mower will run this way if we undo these this tongue is gonna go into the ground and it won't hook back up so that's the only problem I saw so far with them um trying to think I guess uh I'm gonna have to fast forward through uh this day I'm gonna give the cows some TMR and I'll, I'll bring y'all back here in a minute folks uh, find something to do all right folks I'm sorry y'all not gonna see no harvest in this uh this day uh I fast forward time to seven. Uh, our crops was looking like this yesterday, but they're still growing according to the, the, all the t new technology. This is our potatoes still growing. Um, so we'll come over here. Yeah, I left some bales. I forgot about them. This field is still growing. Our corn is still growing. And uh, we do have contracts now. I got a uh, gold mine. 16,000 and then windmill for six and one, two, three fertilizing and one weeding job. Currently, nothing else new, so I'll be doing these off screen. But I did forget to mention something about this crew over here. Um, <laughs> I hired a crew which I cut down the trees. Forestry Commission, don't get on to me because it's going to be something good coming to this area soon, hopefully. Uh, I had them come in to scrape the grass off. They didn't do the corners. Didn't do down this side. But they did put some gravel down for this uh, place here. I told them to just go ahead and gravel their parking lot because I'm taking their shade and stuff. So they put the gravel down and gravel this up to here like I wanted which that was a different crew um, but yeah the crew that done the scraping did all right except for around these edge of these bushes here I guess they's too scared to get too close or something I don't know but anyway yeah we gotta level this up and we're gonna level this up by getting dirt from over here this edge here is, uh, we're going to cut this edge out and make it slope. And you see like right here, it's lower. So we're going to taper it from here down to here, across here. And take that hill out down there. And um, move that dirt over here. And also make a road over there. Um, which I was talking to the highway department and they said no problem uh, they will be supervising but uh, yeah if we want to dump dirt down through here they said to go for it so we'll be dumping dirt down through here this will be a new road of course they will have uh, full access to it and uh, all we'll be doing is dumping the road and probably dump some gravel on it too but that's process to come uh, through this winter as long as the ground don't freeze. But I want to show you uh, the trees I got off it. We're going to go sell it real quick and then we're going to end this episode because uh, I got some contracts to do as you saw. And I got some load of logs here we got to haul off. And then after that I'm going to drop this trailer and go buy another trailer for the slurry. Oh wow, that's bad. But I love the truck. I love the truck. Alright folks, I'll see you at the sawmill. Alright, we're passing the first one because as you can see in the bottom right, this is wood chips. 
and we are now selling wood chips. It, it, it's supposed to equal out the same price as logs, maybe a little bit better. As you can see, our money is going back up, top right up there. 20479 for that load. Not bad. All right, folks. Um, I appreciate all y'all taking the time out of the day to watch me. Uh, my watch time's going up, so y'all doing a good job. I appreciate that. All right, I got to take this guy back to the farm. And there we go. What wow, that's going on. Air? Huh. That popped up air there for a second. But anyway, I'll go in here. Uh, these are the contracts I'm going to do off screen. And I'll probably go ahead and just go ahead and finalize them and do more contracts as they come up throughout the day. Um, if we can get our crops to go from green, this final stage of green to harvest yellow or orange or red, whatever, not red, red's removed tops. Well, actually, four and part of five will probably turn red to remove tops. So, um, try to get 13 and 15 also as we do ours. So, yeah, but that's my plans. And, uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all watching. It, I enjoy y'all's comments and, and all that. It's just, y'all are an amazing community. Y'all are awesome, folks. So, once again, thank you, thank you very, very much. Oh, hey, our, our truck's here to pick up the goat. All right. Oh, by the way, I did get another gold bar, so we got two gold bars. But, uh, we're probably going to send these out to somebody here soon. Maybe watch in the next episode or two. All right, folks, I'm going to get this gold loaded. And uh, I will see y'all in the uh, next episode. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Bye. Hello, it's a game.